champions of the Canadian Premier League, a dynasty. You know, when you're playing games like that, um, you know, you obviously want the result to go your way, but I think sometimes you learn more from them when, when they don't. Um, and yeah, like you said, the occasion and, and the night itself, um, 15,000 fans inside TD was, was a special night for not just us, but for the league itself. So, yeah, I think we'll, we'll use that as motivation um, throughout the course of the year and, and fingers crossed um, we'll have a, we, can, we can host another one of them. Where do you maybe go from there? What's the, the sort of the next evolution? Yeah, I think obviously the only th thing uh, we could probably do better than last season was, was win the final. Um, so I think for us, kind of our, our expectations will stay the same um, as last season. You know, we want to you know, win the regular season and obviously now um, qualify for the Champions League. I think that's where um, the club wants to be. The 22 CPL Player of the Year is... Let's hear it, Ottawa. Ollie Bassett. Do you have any idea that you, know, you could get to that level in this league? What do you sort of look back at that year with? I, don't, I wasn't really thinking about you know, any of that during the course of the season. I was just focused on, on trying to do my best and, and, and do well for the team. And, and then hopefully individually that would you know, take care of itself. But yeah, I was always um, you know, looking just to, just to play more games and, and solidify myself as a, as a good player in this league. And, you know, I just try to stay consistent and, you know, hopefully the, the hard work will pay off. A Bassett bomb! How do you kind of maybe evolve as a team? How do you maybe see things maybe being a little bit different mm -hmm. on the pitch for this club this year? Yeah, I think there was times last year where we could have been maybe a little bit better on the ball, um, you know, in the build-up or, or after we win the ball back, so we're not kind of suffering defensively so much. Um, but I think, you know, kind of what we achieved last year, you know, ultimately worked. Um, and we're very good at what we do, so I'm sure we're not going to deviate away from that too much this year because, you know, it's, it, it would be um, interesting to change something that, that works so well. Ah, Bassett! Olympico! Quel but de la part of Oli Bassett! What impression do you have of, of the sport of football in Canada and of you know, the league itself here that now that you've been around a little bit? The league itself has taken, you know, giant steps forward um, in terms of domestically, and then I think the the national team, um, you know, I know the results didn't go their way at the World Cup, but kind of the way they played and and the way they showed everyone what they can do, I think it was a great advert for, for Canadian soccer and Canadian football. Sorry, <laughs> um, and um, yeah, I think moving forward, um, I think it's only going to continue to grow and. And yeah, I've said it before, but I think it's a, an exciting time for, for anyone, you know, Canadian or, or international to, to be playing in this league. And yeah, I think five, ten years time, you'll, you'll see a, a big reason why.